Hey there, pen fans. I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and today I'm going to be giving you a sneak peek at the Lamy All-Star 2024 Special Editions called Aquatic and Fiery. They've been rolling these out annually for a number of years now, and this year they're doing a pair just like they did last year with the Lilac and Petrol, which were two very strong colors. Now the size and shape is identical to other All-Stars, so I won't get into all the details of the pens in this video. It's basically the colors that make these ones worthy of a video like this. Now the All-Star is like a classed up version of the popular Lamy Safari, with the biggest difference being that the pen body and cap are made of aluminum instead of plastic. I think that they're great pens for newbies and pen veterans alike. I personally am a big fan of the All-Stars because I love the way that the light softens as it hits that aluminum, and I think it looks just a little sharper overall than a Safari. Aquatic has a soft blue color that's really pleasing to my eyes. The aluminum has a matte finish, and they paired it with a black clip and trim ring. Now, normally you'd see a matte black finial on top because that's what they've put on almost all the All-Stars up to this point, no matter the body color. But if you take a look at the top, it's actually a royal blue. Now, the finial on the other end of the pen is still black. It's just the cap finial that has that pop of blue. And on just about every All-Star up to this point, Lamy's put a translucent smoke grip on it which would certainly fit this color, but they went a little bolder this time, much like they did with this year's Safaris. You get a translucent, deep, royal blue with a shiny finish. Now this blue is a bit darker on the grip than the body finish color. It's closer to the finial color, and they went with a black nib, which I think looks really good, especially with the black clip and the black trim ring. Clearly, they've stepped outside of their comfort zone here, and I'm curious to hear what you all think of this color combo. I'm kind of a blue fanboy myself, so pretty much anything in this royal blue is gonna win me over, but I'll be honest, I have sort of mixed feelings about the mix of blues on this pen. I love all the colors separately, I'm just deciding still sort of how I like seeing them all together. I think I might have to spend some time with this pen to just kind of get used to them all. Uh, so I'm curious what you think. Now one thing I know for sure is I would love to see a safari out of this blue on the grip. So Lamy, you're onto something there, let's go. The other pen is fiery, which you might well assume is a red. And it's a red that leans a little pink. It's got a similar pattern going on as the Aquatic. It has the black clip, the black finial on the bottom, and the black trim ring, which you look up at the top of the cap and, hello, red cap finial. And then you pop the cap off and bam, translucent red. The grip on this pen isn't the normal smoke color on either the Aquatic or Fiery. The only other All-Star that I can think of where they've mixed up that grip color was with the limited edition glossy red with that neon yellow grip. Then you have the black nib which matches the clip and the trim ring and I really like it. Now as I looked through my collection I found a bunch of Lamy's that I thought would be helpful to compare color-wise. So here goes. The Lamy All-Star Azure. So this one I think is going to be the closest match of all the previous All-Stars, but Aquatic is a bit darker with a lot of stronger blue tone to it. And of course the grip, clip, and finial are going to be totally different. Lamy All-Star Silver Blue. This one's even more subtle than the Azure. It's got a little less blue to it. It really makes the Aquatic seem quite blue. And this one has maybe a little bit of a hint of red to it, actually. Lamy Studio Glacier. Now this is a different model, of course, but the color is similar, though it leans a lot more gray than Aquatic does. Lamy Studio Aquamarine. Contrast this with the Studio Aquamarine, which is much deeper in color and has a lot more green to it. Lamy All-Star Petrol. Now the Petrol looks super dark by comparison and much greener too, but still a great looking pen. Lamy All-Star Ocean Blue. Ocean Blue is a really deep blue next to the Azure, much more of a Goulet Blue. I'm a big fan of this color, um, but it just shows you how they compare to each other. Now let's check out the All-Star Fiery. I'll be honest, there's a bunch of previous reds and pinks that they've done that look pretty close in color. So I'm really glad that I can show all of these to you today. Lamy All-Star Ruby Red. Ruby Red is a much brighter red than Fiery. I really love this pen. This was actually the first special edition All-Star that we ever carried at Goulet Pens. Lamy All-Star Vibrant Pink. A vibrant Pink looks really purple compared to Fiery. You can tell that they both have some pink, but Fiery is a red that leans pink. Vibrant Pink is a pink that leans purple. Lamy All-Star Lilac. Lilac is gonna be closer to Vibrant Pink than Fiery, 
uh, has a lot more purple to it and very little red. Lamy All-Star Black Purple. Black Purple pretty well describes itself by its name. It's a lot darker and, well, a lot more purple than Fiery. Lamy All-Star Raspberry. I think Raspberry is probably the closest to Fiery. Raspberry has more pink to it, though, and is just a less vibrant color overall. Lamy All-Star Glossy Red. Now, Glossy Red is a bit extra compared to all of these other ones. They didn't make a lot of them, so there aren't a ton of them floating out there, but it's got kind of its own thing going on. It's a shiny coated red, and it's quite loud. You can really see how Fiery leans pink by comparison. But Glossy Red, I think, think might have been the first All-Star to move away from the smoke-colored grip and go with a color pop, and boy does it pop with that chartreuse color. Let's talk ink recommendations. Now, we don't have any matching ink coming with Aquatic or Fiery, which I think is perfectly fine because there are a bajillion light blues and pinky reds already out there. So I'll just mention a few that I think would pair pretty well with these pens. Starting off with Aquatic, I think Lamy Blue Black, the color probably closest in Lamy's lineup. It's a pretty conventional ink, nothing crazy going on. It's just a nice kind of subtle blue. Sailor Suboku. This is a pigmented deep blue, and it can be a bit more maintenance in the pen because of the pigment if you let it dry out, but it has really good water resistance. Waringal Dorothy. This is a dynamic blue with a lot of shading and color variation. And then we have Sailor Ink Studio 340 and 243. Not much to talk about, they're pretty conventional inks, but, you know, you can see the colors next to the pen. Now let's go on to the Fiery. Lamy Ruby. I think this leans a bit more red than the body color, but maybe balances out somewhere between the grip color of the Fiery and the body color. Lamy Rhodonite. Now this color leans a little more towards pink if you want it to go more in that direction. Dimine Sailor's Warning. This is a red with kind of a little bit of a yellow lean to it. Now these pens will be available for the same price as all the other All-Stars. It's gonna be $47 MSRP. We'll have it for $37.60 on GouletPens.com. Now the Z28 converter is an additional $6 if you wanna live that ink bottled life. Doesn't come with a converter. And the global launch is gonna be April 5th, 2024. So be sure to sign up for the notification on GouletPens.com if you're seeing this video in advance of that, or you can just go pick one up if it's after April 5th. These are special editions, so they'll only be available for a limited period. So my apologies if you're watching this in the future and they're not around anymore. Now let me know what you think of these two pens. Did Lamy nail it or are you being left wanting? There were definitely some strong feelings with the Safaris with the ColourPop grips. I imagine there'll be some of that too with these pens. So I'm curious to hear what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and right on.